So we got a lot of new hard baits from Berkeley and we want to tell you a little bit about my thought process when I was actually ordering these. Colors, shapes, uh, certainly the actions that the baits have are very, very important. So let's start off a little bit with the Hijacker 100 Berkeley lure. As you saw there, it has a really cool side to side action. I love chrome. I certainly like the natural colors with the glitter. And we have these chambers with these bearings in there. And what that does is it gives you a clickety clack sound while it's walking the dog. I'm a guy that really likes a lot of walk the dog action on the topwater lures. And all three lures that we're gonna talk about here in the next few minutes are all walk the dog style. The difference between the hijacker and the drift walker as well as the jay walker is this has more of a fish shape it's not that pencil look it's not uh, a, a look of a cylinder but it actually shaped like a fish i love the fact that it sits down in the rear end a little bit and what it allows me to do is now when we walk we're kind of walking the dog with the nose up hence that's why the eye of the hook is here now remember any time that you're tying on a lure and you want more action even though it might have a split ring on the end like this berkeley does i always like to tie it on with a loop knot which will also give me even more action so keep that in mind it comes in a variety of different colors the hijacker but the next silhouette as you can tell is the Jay Walker 100. Both of them are in the, pretty much the same length and that's why they're in the 100 category. But what I like about this is now we have a bait that sits very level in the water. Again, the split ring in the nose, tying it on with a loop, a two hook lure instead of a three hook for those finicky fish at times. A fish will come up and nip the rear end. That's why we love having these big treble hooks. The other thing that I really like about this is its shape. This is going to cast a long, long way because of the shape and the style that it is. It's not gonna have any wind resistance like you typically get from lures that have lips. Now, every once in a while, you just need a little smaller profile. And I, when I was looking at this in the catalogs, the Drift Walker to me was that smaller profile. It's much more of a pencil shape, Again, three hooks, but what I liked also about it is it really gave me a lot of side-to-side -side action and sits very level in the water. Remember, a lot of these lures have been designed for fresh, and guess what? In salt water, they're going to even be more buoyant, which leads me into my jerk baits that I've uh, got. So we've got two styles here. We have a Berkeley Cutter Shallow, which is... Uh, it's called a 90 shallow. I believe the 90 is the length of the lure. But you can tell with this particular lure, I love uh, chrome foils, silver foils, stuff that's very reflective. But look at the difference between the shallow and just the cutter 90. Different shape uh, bill, same size body. The bill placement is in a different place. And so all you got to do, remember guys, if you want to swim either one of these lures more shallow, simply take the rod tip, hold it up high as you twitch it. You'll still get that same side to side flashing action where you're actually getting a lot of sun glare underwater uh, in, in the water column, but you can change this depth by simply holding the rod tip up high or rod, holding the rod tip down low, making it go deeper. Snook, trout, tarpon, redfish all love walk the dog style of topwater plugs. That tarpon, sometimes it's a little difficult by the nature of the way his lower jaw pops up. He knocks the lure out of the water. So don't jerk when you get the bite. Just keep twitching. Let the hooks find uh, their home in the fish's mouth. And the twitch baits that I'm going to be using like these uh, Cutter 90s, those are simply a suspending bait that I really like for snook fishing, for red fishing. A lot of the rivers that we fish, uh, uh, trout love them because of the flash and the reflectiveness of the foils. So, I mean, you're gonna see that we're gonna catch a lot of fish 
uh, in inshore and then offshore. When I think about topwater plugs, walk the dog style of plugs, the kingfish, when they're busting stuff on the surface, love them. Tunas, the bonitas, a lot of that stuff. I've caught yellowtails on a lot of these artificial plugs just like this when you're chumming, obviously, with pilchards. So remember, you want to match the hatch uh, with your color selection, and that'll really uh, take the amount of fish and the amount of bites that you get to a whole nother level. Now, guys, if you like these videos, or you want to know more about the information, you can look at the description of all of these baits uh, in this YouTube video. But if you want to see more of these videos, just simply like and subscribe and we'll make sure we get more out to you.